record industry is still fueled by payola. Always was, always will be. It's a kind of music mafia. And um, so everything written in the Hitman is true. Y yeah, and it's not. It's um, what. What it is is that you have to realize about 50,000 records are made and released every year. And, and when you think only 1% of those will be interviewed and receive press, and, and maybe um, a hundredth of a percent will actually get played on the radio, because they'll play like maybe the same 12, 14 people over and over again on the radio. It's the same people who are at the Grammys. And so you'll have, some, you know, say an artist like, say, Sting, who, nev you know, he has never innovated anything. All he's done is, is he's a really good copy. And, and so, and it's the same with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. When you go there and you, you visit it, you realize, oh my God, this is just another tourist trap. And uh, they spend very little time on the innovators, such as Robert Johnson, and a lot of time on the people who have who have just followed the pioneers in their footsteps and copied them like say Celine Dion or something you know and you're and you're a little surprised you know and every year at the Grammys it's no it's the no surprise surprise sort of like the Holiday Inn every every time it's the same it's just a new version of the same old same old and so it's to us who went to art school it's a little surprising because um, the most embarrassing thing you can do is imitate. And they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but in our case, it becomes appropriation is the sincerest form of robbery. And, <laughs> and um, you know, we, we like a lot, of, a lot of artists. There's a lot of really great, good artists. And so we like to, when we're with, working with, you know, Tom Tom Club, we like to promote all of these good people. And so on our record, we have people that we really like and we would have had a lot more <laughs> if we could and because in a way this is our our record is our label you know it's it's all we have it's the only way we can do it and without big mega bucks to pay the radio for advertising because that's what it is basically in the states you pay for the amount of time on the air and that's advertising so why butter why do you guys want to be up there amongst with all these well all shining stars well, we aren't, are we? <laughs> we're, we're in the underground. We always have been. I think we, um, we're able to, we have an obligation to, and we're able to survive, um, basically, just. And uh, we're, we're going to continue doing it as long as we're working with, with lovely people and uh, making music that turns us on. <laughs>